I've only been to Hinkle Fieldhouse once, the historic gym in Indianapolis. It was to do a Butler-Gonzaga game back in 2014, and it was a great game between two great programs. Went right down to the final second when Butler came up with a steal and Roosevelt Jones put in a very awkward-looking shot from outside that went in. Butler wins at the buzzer, and it was like you were transformed back in time to a scene out of Hoosiers or something like that. Just a phenomenal scene. Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana, one of the great venues in college basketball. And back in December of 2011, number one Kentucky, Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Terrence Jones, they came in to take on an unranked Indiana team. Back and forth, great game, unbelievable atmosphere. Indiana with the ball, down to five or six seconds to go. They come down the court. Jones feeds a pass to Christian Watford, and Watford puts up a three, and it's that classic moment. The ball's in the air. The horn goes off. It's win or it's lose. There's no middle ground. Uh, he knocks down the shot, and the loudest moment I've ever seen at a college basketball game. Playoff baseball is so special, and it can end so suddenly. And Game 5 of the 2014 NLCS between the Cardinals and the Giants in San Francisco was one of those moments. When the Giants were winning those three World Series in a span of five years, they had some unlikely heroes. And in this game, that was one of them. Travis Ishikawa stepped up and broke a tie, hit a three-run, game-winning, series-winning home run for the Giants to knock out the Cardinals, send them into the World Series where they would go on to win, just bedlam in San Francisco. 2011 World Series, Texas at St. Louis. Twice in game six, the Rangers were one strike away from winning the World Series, and twice they couldn't get it done. The first time when David Freeze tripled in the ninth to force extra innings. The second time in the bottom of the tenth when Lance Berkman singled home a run to tie the game again. But the loudest moment, even louder than the ninth, even louder than the tenth, was David Freeze's game-winning home run in the bottom of the 11th, the straightaway center field, winning game six, forcing game seven, and the Cardinals went on to win the World Series. The loudest reaction I've ever heard from a crowd was game five of the 2015 American League Division Series between Texas and Toronto. In Toronto, I'm calling the game for ESPN Radio. I'm from Toronto. My parents and my sons are at the game. Top half of the seventh inning, all hell breaks loose as there's a very controversial call. The call goes against the Jays. It was the right call, but in the moment, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of anger in the stands. People were throwing bottles. It was, quite frankly, a very, very ugly scene. It took forever to clean up the field and get back to play again, and now it looks like the Rangers are going to win the game and win the series until Texas commits three errors in the bottom of the seventh. Jose Bautista then steps up and breaks a tie. One run had already scored. Breaks a tie with a no doubt about it, rocket to left field, three-run homer. Uh, that's the loudest bat flip I think that we've ever seen. It was a bat flip that caused so much aggravation for so many people. And now we celebrate bat flips just a few short years later. It's this moment right here, Jose Bautista with one of the biggest hits in Blue Jays history as they would win that game and knock the Rangers out of the playoffs.